So the story continues. It's time to switch to clean vehicles, and in large part, we're already uh, doing that. This is already underway. For many people, EVs are already uh, a very viable option today. Uh, a 2013 report showed that 42% of people could already, 42% uh, uh, of households could already use EVs, uh, and this was in 2013 before a lot of new models came out, new, uh, new models that have better, bigger range and they're just better vehicles. So um, uh, right now the, we have more, we have 25 EVs that are out there, and almost all of them have enough range to cover most of your average commute. Now. Um, Granted, if you're going to be, if you are going to be traveling long distances, you're going to need something that's going to get you further, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But meanwhile, uh, we already have 15,000 public chargers for long trips and 1,500 fast chargers. Electric vehicles also cost less to operate than gas cars. The fuel, which is the electricity, is about a third to a half the cost of gasoline. And maintenance is cheaper as well. Regular gas cars have about 2,000 parts that can fail, whereas EVs have about 20. And uh, so there's a lot less that you have to pay in maintenance. The, the car on the right is showing what they have under the hood, which is called a frunk. <laughs> it's a front trunk. Um, and that's just luggage. So in case these facts and figures aren't cutting it for you, I just want to tell you a little bit about our personal story. So that's obviously me. Um, so in our family, we really wanted an electric vehicle, but we wanted one that had plenty of range, like to go up to San Francisco and back, um, and we needed a reasonable price. So when this Chevy Bolt came out in late 2016, it was perfect. It had plenty of range. After the rebates, it was $27,000, so it was fabulous for us. And we started out with a level one charger. Who, who here has not, does not know what a level one charger is? Okay, a couple people. So when you get your EV, your electric vehicle, it comes with this, okay? And this, you can plug in right into the wall. You want to pass it around? I do want that back. Um, <laughs> but it comes with this, and you plug it into any wall socket, like the ones you see here, and you get three to five miles of, hour, uh, of charge per hour. So overnight, that's enough for, for us. We were fine with that. We would get about 50 miles of kind of topping up the car overnight, and that was great. Um, and eventually we did install a, a higher level charger called a level two charger so we could get 25 miles an hour of charge, um, you know, just in case we needed a faster charge. But the level one really works for, for a lot of instances. We got an extra surprise on the range. So the Bolt claims to have 238 miles of range, but as you can see from our dashboard with what's called the gasometer, um, when we would do a lot of city driving with regenerative braking, we would often get a much better mileage than that. And here our gasometer is guessing that we could get a max of 388 miles on one charge. So we're pretty excited about that. Now we wanted both our cars to be electric, so our second car is a Kia Soul EV. And this has 125 miles of range. Uh, my husband, Gerald, right here, is six foot four, and so we needed our cars to be roomy. And here he is loading 50 Costco pizzas into the, into the Kia Soul, and they did fit. <laughs> so we leased the Kia, and I recommend leasing an EV. Um, the lease deals are available on this website that you see here, and we have it in the handout over on the table, but um, there are some amazing deals. So when you see that, the column that says down plus act, so down payment kind of, um, in, in a lot of cases you can take that almost all the way off because you get $3,000 back. If you have PG&E, you get $500 back from that and you get $2,500 rebate from the state. So already you can start with $3,000 less than what they say. Now we did not get that unbelievable Kia Soul EV deal up at the top that's $99 a month, but we did get $139 a month, so it's coming out to about five bucks a day. Oops. So another affordable option we considered was buying a used EV. And of course, the more people who buy new EVs now, the more used EVs there are gonna be in the future. Um, so we looked at uh, uh, this site called Car Gurus. I did a search, and here's some of the results. And I'll tell you that the first 10 listings for uh, used Nissan Leafs in my area were all under $7,000. Uh, and I even found a couple of Teslas that were listed for under $40,000. Okay, so you can see.